everybody, it's Robbie here. I want to make a fast video regarding CoDriver app, take you through some of the main feature screens in the app. The app we're going to be showing today is version 1.01. We've a new update coming up in January 2012, and I'm going to show you some of the previews of some of the new features that we have for the 1.02 version. Right now, what you're looking at is the first screen you see when you launch the app. You have got to actually click on this screen to get into the main functions. This is the screen that you will set up for new events and for looking back at saved events. On the top you'll see the current time of day been displayed and underneath the two main buttons you'll see a Q4 button and a settings button and basically we're going to step through those in later on in this video. Right now I have a lot of people asking me how do they delete a saved event so let's go into the saved event page here as you can see we've got one uh, event here called Monte Carlo and on the iPhone you have the side swipe to the right and when you do uh, side swipe to the right on a name you'll see a little delete function comes here you simply press that button and it deletes the event now it also deletes all of the saved times and all of your competitors times that have been saved in that event so every event has its own record of stages, times and competitors that are saved in that particular folder. So when you delete that name, you delete all of those times as well. Let's go back to the main screen and let's now look at this app as if it's the very first time we're opening it and we just need to place a new event into the system. So when you press the new event button, we get a new event name screen. Let's call this Monte Carlo. And when you select done it now opens up the main timer screen and the current time of day is again displayed in blue and that only changes to stopwatch function um, but normally it's always the current time of day that's up there on the top of the screen underneath that you're going to see a start time and a stop time that is going to be the current time of day that the stage started and the current time of day that the stage stopped and that's recorded in hours, minutes, seconds and milliseconds. We have the main countdown button just underneath here in the center. That will count down from a preset of either 15, 10 or 5 seconds. And you can change that by pressing the settings tab just over here and selecting whatever you want to select. I'm going to leave it at 5 for a moment and I'm going to start the stage and you can see over here the reset button goes green if I press the reset button now again it resets the counter back to five back to the original starting point and manually again we can press uh, the countdown for the new updates and here's a preview of something we're doing for the next update we're going to be able to enter in a predetermined start time into the app and the app is going to automatically count down from the five four three two one and start the timer the minute it hits the appropriate set time so that's going to be on the new update and it's something that's going to be a very valuable feature so let's again restart this stopwatch manually and when you see it gets to zero it turns green on the button and also the counters up on top turn green as well we now have the stopwatch mode engaged we've recorded the start time of the stage and we can now see the stop time when we press the stop button you'll see everything changes red and that means now that the stage has stopped and that it's ready to save this time into the event manager if you want to adjust the the stop time all you simply have to do is rotate that back as such to get it back to where you want to get it to So just say 15 seconds, it's done. And we want to now save this time into our event manager. So we press the save button up here on top. It gives you a little roll up tumbler bar and you can number the stages. And this is going to be stage number one, or you can record as stage number two. The next version of the app is going to automatically uh, number the stage for you. So when you open up the save button, the next stage is going to be already pre-picked it's one less thing for you to do so we're going to just going to record this as number one pe stands for penalty 
and we've updated this in the new version as well so when that update becomes available you'll be able to see the word penalty here instead of PE and just press save and that's that stage saved and it automatically gets carried over into the event manager where we are able to have a recording of up to 150 other competitor cars if you want and we're able to carry our own times automatically over into this feature as you can see the first stage here is 15 seconds the total on the bottom is currently marked as the fastest total because the green will always represent the fastest total but it's the only total in the recorder at the moment let's order let's add another car and you simply press the add button and we're going to add competitor number three and we're also going to add competitor number four and we will be able to simply click on the cell directly beside your stage time to enter in a time for them so let's enter in a quick time here of 16 seconds and press save and for car number four let's enter in a time for a minute and press save now when you have the same amount of stage times the equal amount of stage times entered in for your competitors as well as your own you're going to get a white box that's going to show you a comparison and you're also going to get on the bottom you're going to get a running total we can see the fastest running total right now is um, the 15 uh, seconds because it's marked in green and everything else then will remain in orange and it'll show you the difference of the other competitors just here in white so it's going to be a handy feature if you want to quick browse you you can press the orange buttons to actually uh, advance along other columns of competitors if you've got uh, more than four saved you can simply move across let's save another one here number seven you can simply move across to car number seven by pressing the orange arrow and as you can see it moves the column across and to move back you simply press the back so that's the main features in the timer. The only thing I need to explain to you here is the Q4 button. The reasons why we have the Q4 button is to quickly look at the last four stages recorded and to give you a running total for the last four stages recorded. And that's particularly handy if you're after competing a leg of an event and you go into service, quite often people would ask you in the increments of between three and four stages, what were your stage times and what was your total? And that's just a quick way of recording them back you will uh, only see the time in the Q4 button if you've actually recorded it from the stopwatch. If you want to save a second time into your um, event manager, you just simply press the save button and you number it number two. And you can see it's automatically there in the um, event manager. You can edit that by, collect by double clicking on it or clicking on the cell and adjusting it to and the time on the time card perhaps you forgot to record it on your stopwatch manually now you need to know that in your timer because you did not actually run the, your stopwatch in the Q4 section it's going to appear as a zero time which means that you forgot to manually record that time but in your event timer you will be able to manually adjust it to the proper stage time and it will always show a true value for the totals on the bottom there next thing I have to explain to you is the service manager um, service manager is a very simple countdown feature with a visual um, alarm which means the logo here in the center goes red so you can enter in your, your uh, control time for service time in and you can enter in your control time for service time out and you can see it's going to start to count down over here as soon as that reaches zero the logo here in the center is going to turn red on the next update we're actually going to have an audible alarm and we're going to have a vibrate feature and you're going to be able to get that to activate on your phone and again it's a quick glance feature it shows you you've got three minutes and 14 seconds to get to the control and it's a handy feature to save you time and have it to work out the calculations sometimes or constantly have to check your time card to remind yourself of the control timeout. So that's um, uh, the, the service function right now. 
and as I say in the new update we're going to have the the alarm on that I'm going to show you now um, some of the previews of another sample of the app that we're going to have for the January um, 2012 and hopefully you'll be able to get an idea as to where we're going with all of these on the app okay so before we finish up just give you some previews of the next version and give you an idea of how we're going to use it now there's a lot of uh, secret stuff in development here so I'm not going to show you everything but I'm just going to show you some of the main things that I think you'll be interested in knowing um, let's just look at the start time so we have the facility where we can set a start time um, either on a minute or on a half minute ahead and press done and as you can see we're due to start um, at 30 and it's already started counting down let's just do that for a better time so let's say we're starting at 32 30 done so as you can see it's coming up now to 3205 and you'll see when it reaches 25 the counter down here is going to automatically start counting down and then when that counter reaches zero it's going to go into stage mode by everything turning to green and it's then going to start automatically timing the stage for you as if it would have done when you set it manually so now you can see the reset button has gone green that means the counter is active and now that the counter has reached zero it, it has done the uh, stage uh, start automatically so then when you press stop and you go save um, as you can see we've, we've changed penalty and save stage number one if we were to save it again you can see how it automatically has now um, moved forward to stage number two and again to stage number three so that's going to be one less thing for you to do when um, you're on a busy road section and when things are pretty hectic um, I want to show you the offset feature and now when you go into your settings screen you're going to have a feature where you can set the time of the app directly in response to the rally time so you tap to adjust and you set rally time up in the very same way as you'd uh, just roll the tumbler back to zero and as you can see it syncs everything up here and then when the rally time is counting down um, to 20 33 zero, zero, as soon as it reaches zero, 00 rally time you select done and it automatically has set the event time this is the event timer here to the same as rally time and it doesn't matter um, if rally time is a minute ahead or a minute behind or five seconds ahead or five seconds behind you're now going to be able to set the app exactly to rally time which is something that's going to be very valuable valuable for people to have uh, one other thing I want to show you is the control feature um, there is a facility where we're going to be able to do the control times and the road section time to give you a countdown to time remaining it's going to be able to give you the average speed over the distance of the road section all that's going to be calculated out uh, automatically once you enter in the distance and we've got lots lots more to add into this app but I'm afraid that's all I'm going to show you today uh, but I can't wait for everything to get onto the update so make sure you check the update and the app store in early January to get your uh, latest version of 1.02 you're probably going to see the reminder popping up on your phone anyhow and I look forward to getting your feedback on 1.02 and of course your feedback is helping make this app better and better so any feature you'd like to have added in any feature you'd like to see please do let me know and I'd be delighted to uh, see if we can get it built in thank you mm -hmm.